Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Stable Branch series. So this is the arid start we're continuing on, and I think we'll just, uh, um, at this point I don't think we're going to be restarting at all. We, I don't see a need to, so we'll just continue on until the next Alpha. Uh, I... Also, we'll be starting up a Iron Man Ultimate Iron Man series starting uh, in the first week of January. So look for that coming very soon in the next couple days. Uh, our first mission is due, oh God, I guess on the 8th or something like that. So you'll tune in to the uh, Geek Tech Industries YouTube channel and you'll be able to see what's going on there. Okay. Uh, also go check out uh, Know It All DM's site and uh, Captain Adonis's site. They both are the co-hosts. So they have, especially Captain Adonis, he has the, uh, um, all the information on his site. And if you, well, same with Know It All DM, but, but, uh, I think we're your newcomers are supposed to go to Captain Adonis's site and contact them to get in touch with the Discord info and all that other stuff. So, yeah, till I know otherwise, I guess that's how it goes. Um, today we are, you can see we're just kind of chilling. We've got our pad here, and I've extended it out a bit, so we should be able to spawn in our next little HV that we cooked up in the factory. So let's spawn this in. Um, that's interesting. Why is it spawning it like, oh, okay. That was, hmm, okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not moving the, I, all I'm doing is spinning my avatar. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the way I want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is it almost crushed me then? That wouldn't be funny at all. Okay. Well, this is our, I like to call it my little minivan. It's like, uh, what the heck were those, uh, those Luminas? <laughs> it's my little, my little mini cargo van, really, because it's all, sure, it's got guns on it, but. That's it's just for self-defense against drones, really. Um, so there you have it, my 16,000 storage unit, level 5 starter HV. It's not really a starter. It takes a while to get up to it because it's, I mean, it's, it's got... over 200 iron in it and over 300 copper and over 200 silicone to make it. The carbon substrate is pretty easy, actually. That's that's actually not that much, to tell you the truth. To make the 410 carbon substrate is actually kind of a joke. It's just a few stone and a couple of trees, really, and you, it's not that bad. So the, the, the big numbers of the carbon substrate coming out, don't freak out, out about that. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so, well, here we go. We've got our new HV. It's, let's jump in it um, and take a look. So, it's got a one harvest controller. Um, it's only got one ammo box. So the ammo controller has, what can it hold? 1375. That's not that bad. I mean, that's, um, I think that's 13,750 rounds of 15 mil it can hold. So that's plenty. It's only got the, the three turrets and the two uh, mini guns on the front. So, 
Eh, I'm not gonna. I, I I won't even fill this thing up with with ammo. I doubt it. At least I think that's what it works out to. Thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty rounds of fifteen mil. Uh, the other controller is the Orin Wood controller, and it's just a smidge over sixteen hundred. So unfortunately, that's it. It's those two boxes, so we've got we've got 128 slots. Uh, one of them that can hold up to 16,125 liters, and the other one's the ammo box. They can both function as regular cargo boxes too. It's not it's not that you can't store stuff in them. You can also use them to control your uh, where is it the constructor with too. So with the Let's access this like like we had on the on the um, on the starter that I made. So we basically set the big one to the ore and wood, and then the input or the output to whatever. I guess right now we're gonna do ammo because I think we're gonna throw in some what's nest the bare necessities, and we're gonna get this thing going. So. Uh, O2, it is out of O2 right now. Let's start that off. We're going to fill that. Let's fill that. We don't actually have... Okay, so what we can do is we can, if we go into manage, we can go into the base and we can grab... Do we not have... Is it in blocks then? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's throw all these in there. Oof, didn't even fill it up. It's, it's got quite a few tanks. Uh, these fusion cells, that's awesome. So we're going to take these with us, I think. So let's let's change this to the ore and wood. And we're going to put those in there. Take 205. Wow, just those five cells take up 205 volume. That's crazy, eh? We're also going to take these O2. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of food, so let's grab some, well, let's just grab these, put these in the fridge. So I got two fridges in this thing. That's good. That's handy. Okay, so we should be able to just fire this thing up now. Oops, it was fired up. It fired itself up when I fueled it up. Okay, yeah, they do that now. They auto fire up. I'm not sure why. Uh, anyway, let's continue to load this thing up now. So we need, let's switch to the ore and wood, and we're going to switch to the mats. And uh, so we're going to need iron. We're going to need some of these logs. Not many. You can see we're already up to... 1172 uh, do we really need water we're not gonna need water because we've got a bunch of O2 with us we're not gonna need some fusion cells so what we need now that's I think that's all we need for the ammo but I want to take yeah take about that much sure I want to take some to make cores, just in case. I just feel lucky. I feel lucky. Uh, the other thing too. Oh, you know what? Let's. Um, we can do this from here because we're close enough. We're actually pretty much at the base. So let's turn the oxygen on before we suffocate. Yeah. Look. Let's do something about that. You know what? Let's jump out. Let's jump out for a second. We'll just use the. I don't want to use up all my emergency bottles. They're nice and handy to have on me. They don't weigh anything. The emergency ones don't freaking weigh anything. Remember that. Um, so when, you, when you're converting your water into these, they have no volume anymore. And the crazy thing is, is the little ones, I think I've shown you, I think I've shown you this a few times now throughout the Alpha 9 is is this is definitely the way to go if you're going to be going 
uh, POI rating because it takes no volume. So if you've got your your weight uh, restrictions turned on, that is. <laughs> uh, and believe me, that'll be coming. That'll be forced as a default eventually. I mean, sure, you can still go into the YAM uh, into the YAML and turn that off. So that's not that big of a whine and cry if they turn that on it's pretty simple to turn it off okay so let's power up the constructor we've got it connected to there we're going to have it ejecting ammo out to the ammo controller so we want our 15 mil so let's make 1000 2000 3000 4,000. 4,000 is pretty good for now. So as that fills up our ammo box, so that's that's pretty awesome. I love that. I love that. It's just it's just auto filling our ammo right now. And yeah, we didn't get much off that because there's no ammo in it. You can see as we as we touch our guns, it uh, it updates the how much ammo we have. That doesn't auto refresh for some reason. Not a big deal. I think if we switch back and forth, it will. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think that's all we need from the base. Oh, you know what? No. Let's get it to make us a. We don't have a big um, a big big HV detector. So let's do that. Let's make one. We can just sit in our cockpit until it's ready because it's going to be close enough to use the registry. If we go into the registry, we can do show private, we can do the um, ruins, and then we want to control panel. We should be able to go into the large. No, it's not going to let us. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just jump down here and do it. Okay, so let's make a detector. Get that installed. Oh, turn that on. Okay, I need to connect to my HV's Wi-Fi, so let's do that. And Orin Wood, that's the one I want to connect to. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this is doing. We'll go into blocks. Nope. Uh, blocks. Oh, I actually made a whole bunch. Yeah, let's grab those too. It's letting me pick those up. I don't know why it even let me pick those up. That's kind of weird. I guess because I'm connected. And it's still technically, I guess, in the box. I don't know. Uh, we should put that here, though. Although, I guess, technically, we could... Here. What we could have done is... Oh, did it just nuke it all? Oh, it went into my... Uh... That's okay. I went into my HV's inventory. Went in... Because that's what I was connected to. Yeah. Uh, not into the ammo, though. It went into the ore and wood. Yeah. So we can switch this. <laughs> derp a derp. We'll just get those in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to hold 13,750 because there's 6,000 in there, which is 600. Yep, that's, that's exactly what I thought. Okay. Uh, we're connected to there. Let's go into the ruins, and we want the blocks and... <clears throat> we want the detector. We'll put that. Oh, are we? No, we, we don't want to be connected to that, though. What we want to be connected to is. I just got to get used to this. I, I mean, it doesn't matter right now because I'm just going to attach it right away. I'm just doing this to get into the habit of always connecting to what the. The vehicle or whatever that I'm actually going to be using here. So, and then I can go in. Now that I'm connected to it, I can go in and change this. 
and then put it into my ore and wood toolbar for my HV. That way, if I do get disconnected, it just goes into my HV. So, so here, let's spawn the drone. Switch to the number one slot. I was just going to put it in the back here somewhere. No, not like a big... I, I, I don't even know what to call that. I'm not going to have that sticking out like that. Like, come on, let me do something else. Like, can you not? Can I not? I wish they would let us change the direction of this. So now it's going to... What it wants is it wants a stupid freaking block... It wants a block to go up against. Mm. So unless I actually give it a... If I go like this... There we go. I ha oh, I had it for a second there. Come on. Like this. Come on. Like this. And then up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but you know what? It works for, for now. And sorry. Yeah, I got thrusters covered. I know. I know. I'm trying not to do that because one day that's going to matter. <laughs> like, like everything else. One day it's going to matter. Might as well get used to it now. Okay. Uh, well, ooh, look at that radar right over there. We never had that before. We never had radar. Oh, yeah, because it's south. Yeah. No, we did have that before. <laughs> we went scooting through there. Um, crash sentinel front. That's really interesting. It's really interesting, but I think I want to go. Uh, I think I want to just. We want to go down south. Because. We haven't found squat in the way of resources. I know I, I shouldn't have done a a large planet. I'm realizing that now. And we'll see how far these markers are. Oh, I must have the markers turned off, yeah. So, okay, so I, I mean, yeah. We'll just, let's go do this. We will switch to our number one. Oh, let's check out our turrets too. Make sure that they're set up correctly. No, they are not. Let's turn that, that, that. Uh, actually, capital vessel is fine. We'll turn off that and that. We'll apply that to the group. Okay. Um... Okay. Well, let's go get in trouble. I've got almost 8,000 rounds of ammo. Here, let's reload. This thing seems slow, but it's actually not. It's going the same speed that the uh, little starter was. Oh, there's something over here, which is all the uh, Xerax, so I'm not going to go over there. thing about this one, though, is it doesn't bottom out. Because it's got real hover engines on it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> there you go. wanted it to clear that tag. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know, that's Xerox, that's a Xerox POI, what the radar's picking up. We don't need to go there to discover a Xerox POI that can shoot at us. Thank you very much. What I want is some Polaris faction zone, because if we can find a Polaris faction zone, we can grind faction for the Polaris and grind meat and experience at the same time. So, and the reason why I want Polaris specifically is because they seem to get all the uh, 
They seem to get all the Prometheum. I don't know why, but... Yeah. Yeah, this thing handles so much better than the starter with those starter... Star oh, wow, we're getting multiple hits everywhere here. You can see the radar is just freaking out. Okay, uh... Oh, Polaris! Polaris! I see a Polaris! Okay, so we got to get friendly with them. Uh, actually, I think we... Is it friendly or honored? It might be honored to, to mine. I'll have to check into that. I'll have to check into that. So right now, let's see what we are. We are neutral with the player, so we should be able to drive. Oh, it says right here what we can do. Okay. Uh, killing a member of that Polaris is minus 1,000. Attacking Predator is plus 0.3 per damage point. Hmm. Destroying some of their stuff uh, is a negative. Opening a container instantly dropped to neutral and is a five minus 500. So I could technically open like good eight containers before we drop to. I mean, we could go loot. Ooh. Huh. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's worth cargo box loot to do that. And what do we got over here yet? So this will be all Polaris. This is very, very interesting. So, oh yeah, look at that. Is that an Otog? I think we can kill those and get, get some... Whoa, that was... Um, Wow, that was some uh, lag I experienced. I'll have to see if that experienced that on the video. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> That's always fun. That means it's it's monitor lag. Uh, okay, so let's kill this thing and we'll see. Up, oh, lower down a bit. Hey, buddy. Whoa, personal space. <laughs> and uh, I didn't notice let's let's take a look and nope we never got anything okay we never lost anything we never got anything so otogs do not count hmm okay I thought they were predators. I actually thought they were predators. So, because they attack you. They attack you if you get close enough to them. They, they, I mean, not even close enough. I mean, they, they attack you from a good distance. So I just, I just assumed they were, um, what's this ancient shelter? So we've got some wrecked POIs around. Well, I don't want to loot them because they're... Oh, no, this one's not. Look at, we just left Polaris. Ooh, we just left Polaris. Okay, let's let's take a look in here really quick. I don't know if there's going to be anything. There looks to be a... Oh, we could... Uh, huh. This might actually be... Oh. Nah, you know what? You know what? Here, let's just kill this guy. I don't want him hanging around. Oh, I guess, you know, I guess we should get the meat. We should get the meat, right? Waste not, want not. Oh, I don't know why I jumped there. That was weird. <laughs> I'm so used to my box top stuff. I've got, uh, I've got muscle memory going on. Okay, so let's equip a gun and let's see if we can prevent ourselves from dying here. Let's get into this view. It's a little easier to 
deal with the camera that might swing around a little bit. So very cool. I mean, we could have taken over something like this as a base, right? Because it's like, it seems like it's ready to go. No core present. So it's got no core. Okay. It's got a solar panel up on the roof, but I didn't see a... A generator of any sort. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm not interested in taking this thing apart right now. This is all. I'd, I, not to say I wouldn't mind the concrete, but um, we can do that off camera. I that's really boring. Okay, let's head back into Polaris. See if we can find out what a predator is to them whoa that was a bit of a bottom out there wow oh because i'm i didn't have my uh, hover height set whoops okay so we should start discovering tons of stuff very cool and i believe they have weapons now so if i was if i was unfriendly or hostile, I'd be getting shot at right now. So they're pretty much just like the Xerax now, I think. Oh crap, there's a drone right there. Come on, kill the drone, yeah! Well, my, my turrets were going after it, that's good. What, why was there a drone in there? Oh, he was guarding, like, Promete the Copper or something. Okay. Okay. Well, I wonder if I got faction for that. Let's see. Yep, I got 50. Oh, I got Talon faction, too. Okay, so taking the faction. Well, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we can grind faction by killing Xerax. <clears throat> well, that's that's cool too, I guess. Okay. Huh. That might be more profitable. That might be more profitable. Well, let's go. Let's go. Um, reveal what all these things are on the, the map then anyway all yeah more Prometheum like I was saying they they got all the Prometheum in their zone so I gotta I gotta get friendly with them so that I can mine it so I don't get all shot up um Okay, so what, what, what's in their zone that I can shoot that's going to give me faction? There's no predators. I guess there has to be like, what is there, spiders? I guess I got to find spiders? Spider spawns? That really sucks. You can see this thing climbs up pretty sheer cliffs too. Okay, well... Um, I'm, hmm. Let's see how deep are we in the territory? Yeah, we went right through the middle of it. So, okay, I think we discovered everything because it's all, I can see the borders. If, if we hadn't discovered anything, I wouldn't be able to see the borders yet. I mean, I guess we can go out that way, but let's just continue on to the new markers. We need to figure out uh, what the, what the predators are in oh 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 there's a spider okay so let's let's see if we get any faction oh yeah holy crap a big big score of faction okay so it's spiders spiders we got to go on a spider hunt oh my god
now let's okay I want I want to take a look at the faction thing one more time because well it's not going to take us much to get up to what friendly and then mine and players territory none of reputation is friendly or better <gasps> that's not that's going to be like a uh, like four or five spiders oh my goodness well I I gotta find spiders now come on spider spiders spider spider okay so where did we what what let's go check to see what kind of biome that was that that spider was in let's go see let's go see Let's go see, where's the carcass? Dunes. Dunes, where? Where's the carcass? Is it gone already? We're in dunes. I think everything's dunes. Okay, well. Um. Hmm. like you know dunes are everywhere but I rarely see spiders and I've got hard critters for frequency and spawning too so for and like all everything hard except for for crafting is set to fast and the uh, mounted deposits okay so you know what we're just just not finding seeing any more spiders really so you know they're they're never around when you want them <laughs> spiders they're never around when you want them wow so is that, is that my catchphrase for this episode huh okay uh well this is unfortunate so i guess what we're gonna have to do is Look for stupid spiders in there because they it's a lot of oh, 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 there's a stupid spider. There's a stupid spider. Okay, so did I just have to get into a hot zone or something? I don't know. There's a bunch of spawns here. Let's take a look. Let's kill it. Actually, let's get rid of this guy too because he's going to. Whoa, buddy, <laughs> he just, he just attacked our undercarriage. Okay, um, yeah, exactly. They're not predators, no. Oops. I mean, as great as all this is for XP, I really want the freaking spiders. I want the Prometheum. I'm, I'm actually kind of desperate for it, really, because we're not going to be able to go into space, build a, build a decent HV and SV. I can't bring in my whole mole if I don't have some freaking Prometheum. I'm not going to run that thing on biofuel. Oh, look at, look at all these spiders. Ooh, spiders, spiders, spiders. Okay. Okay, Kirby enthusiasm, Z lot. Jeez, that was just creepy. And that's why you put lots of RCS on HVs. Cause... Level eight, nice. Okay. Uh. Get rid of this guy so it doesn't bug us. Level three, dude. Holy crap. Wow. He took more to kill than a drone. Look at all these guys. They are just everywhere. Okay, so let's... Oh, I see another spider over there. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's, let's try and get as much meat as we can here. Okay, so I don't need to show you guys everything. Let's just... We'll just do the quick loot. Do the quick loot. 
Okay. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Okay. Um. Oh. Is this guy not a turret top? Oh, is, oh he's got a receding turret line. That's what his issue is. Okay. Oh, come on. When when are we when are we when are they going to be happy with us? Oops, not that. That. Oh, we are. We're already friendly. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, well, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Let's go see if we get uh, shot at when we will we'll, we'll test this cuz I'm going to go mine some Come on. Give me your bits. Thank you very much. Okay, let's throw this into uh um Where's all the fridges? Fridge, fridge. That's not it. Oh, actually, raw meat. Yeah, that's fine for that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, speaking of, let's eat something. Okay. And our oxygen is a little low. You know what? This thing has... This thing has one built into it. Let's just go like that, and we're awesome again. So we can just fill that up. We can still fill up everything with the... If you got stuff in your inventory, or I think if you're tied into a box with it in it, we can, we can, we can experiment with that too, I think. Uh, okay, so... Um, Promethium, here we come. So a small one over here, and then a medium one for silicone. Okay, we're, we're gonna go for the Promethium here. There's a dude here we're gonna have to get rid of. Okay, okay, we're still getting good, good, uh, the same amount of XP and rep regardless of the level of the spider or the level of our reputation. So, okay. It's a fixed amount, which is fine. Which is fine. I can I can deal with that. Uh, so let's, there we go. Our new drill that we made because we've got a, a large constructor now and we're seventh level. So I upgraded that in the tree already and made that. I converted our old drill, which was pretty much broken. And this thing's so much faster. Nice. Yeah, okay. So, we did a couple of uh, things this episode. We got our Polaris faction up. We discovered some Prometheum, which is exactly what we're hoping for. We can, we can mine it all. Um, we got the better HV in. Oh, speaking of, you know what? Let's, let's make sure that we're actually connected here properly. So, going to the Wi-Fi... Let's go into the ore and wood, and yeah, it shows that I am, and yeah, it collected, it was collecting it, see, it, it went in there automatically, so perfect, so let's put that stuff in there, uh, you know what, that, that can go in there for now, too, that's fine, oh, we must have looted that, that was, that's awesome, okay, excellent, Excellent. Well, we must have looted a bunch off the drone because we filled up our tank and we still had a couple. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like looting fuel. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, you, you don't want to watch me mine for a whole bunch and get all this Prometheum, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. And I'm also going to go around and mine up a whole bunch of silicone and iron and copper too and I'm going to take all that back to the base I, and I'm going to make 
I'm going to start getting all the stuff together to make a better base. So we're going to we're going to revamp the base. Uh, we're going to we're it's just not really functional for our needs right now. We're going to get get it powered up with fuel. So we're going to get a real base going. And uh, and then after that, I would really like to hit level 10 and get a better get my uh, whole mole my 32,000 storage unit whole mole it's a good mining rig it's probably the best HV I've ever built in my opinion well guys till then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>